We're here today outside of the Tampa Bay Times Forum, just a couple blocks north, to talk about our latest and final change to the on-street parking system. Recently, we removed the remaining 100 single-space meters in this area that's surrounding me today and have replaced them with single-space poles and placards and the new pay stations, the pay station kiosks that we've installed about three years ago. On top of that, we've overlaid our pay by sell initiative, the Park Mobile program. And, you know, we think it's been a pretty good change in the fact that the old single space meters were always cumbersome to use. You had to have always had the coin on you, and oftentimes the coins would get jammed, you wouldn't have enough coin. We think that with this latest initiative, people are really going to be excited about the final phase and how to pay for parking when attending events at the Tampa Bay Times, Times Forum or just the general area here. One of the nice things about this new system is, especially using the pay by phone initiative, if you're attending, for instance, a hockey game, the Tampa Bay Lightning Hockey, and the game goes into overtime, let's say, you've paid by phone for up till 10 o'clock, uh, overtime generally lasts another half hour, 45 minutes, you can now simply extend your parking session by responding to that reminder notice on your smartphone and adding additional one hour worth of time. Something else to consider, uh, when you do park in this area down here by the Tampa Bay Times Forum, you, you may not find a pay station kiosk in every block face. Uh, for instance, we've uh, taken a look at the, the way folks walk towards the Tampa Bay Times Forum after they've parked, and we've aligned about a half a dozen pay stations to make it convenient for folks as they're walking down this South Nebraska corridor right into the Tampa Bay Times Forum. In addition to this area we're currently standing today, we also took the initiative to remove the single space meters on the north end of downtown by the interstate and the cemetery that sits up there north of Tyler Street, as well as the removal of about another 100 single spaces, single space meters over by the University of Tampa on the west bank of the Hillsborough River. So all told, we had 400 remaining single space coin operated meters that we've been able to remove and replace with the pay station kiosks and the park mobile pay by phone program. So no more single space meters in downtown Tampa. It's all multi-space pay station or pay by phone park mobile. Some of the recent feedback that we received since introducing the pay by phone park mobile program is that we've got about a 7% adoption rate for folks using the system right now. Now industry standards tell us that we should get up to 15% over time, but here it is October and the program has only been introduced since July of this year. So we think we're on a pretty good pace right now. It's just a matter of uh, as the seasons come and go and more folks come to the downtown area, more folks are going to be familiar with how to use the pay by phone program.